Hi, hi everybody, welcome to my channel and today's video I'm going to talk about some habits to start a healthier lifestyle. First of all, for we get healthy habits, we need to do some change in our life and see what things that we are doing wrong. Something important is that those small positive change that, that we can do it can help us create a happier life. So if you are seeking for more energy, better sleep, less stress, and a deeper sense of health and well-being, it is all about the habits you commit to and complete daily. First, we need to know what are healthy habits. Healthy habits are everyday behaviors that positively affect our lives, that positively impact your physical, mental, and emotional health. If you get healthy habits, it's going to help you prevent chronic disease. It's going also to improve your mentally and physical health, and you are going to obtain higher quality of life. So these habits it don't going to change you right away, but once you get into the path of these healthy habits, then eventually you are going to see the change around you in your daily life. Positive habits, like for example, eat healthy, for example, do meditation uh, five minutes before you st your day start. Isn't going to change your health in a day, but eventually it's going to make change with time. So their accumulative effect is going to affect your well-being over weeks, months, and years. To get healthy habits, it's really important consistency because it's going to turn our bodies and mind trip on routines. And create a routine is really, really important to succeed in life. I mean, anything that you have to get done on life, like a, a work, uh, some studies, uh, some chores in the house, anything, you have to have a plan to pursue something. And usually, for we get our goals, we have a plan we develop a plan so with habits also we create routines in order to keep those habits and this is going to make us more proactive it is going to, to change our mindset and we want to be more positive more creative when we repetitively make choices straighten neural pathways in our brain so it's going to be easier to continue these new behaviors over time what might initially felt like an effort becomes second nature so it's going to be easier it is going to be part of our daily life establishing and maintaining healthy habits is not just about extending lifespan it's also about enhancing the quality of your life each positive choice have a ripple effect if you change something it's going to be easy to do new change in your life getting new habits if you are getting new habits in your life and you are getting positive things it's going to create and bring more positive things in your life it's gonna be easier to to create new routines it's gonna be easier to change new things some of the benefits that you're gonna get when you start getting healthy habits is that you're gonna you gonna get more energy because for example if you are getting exercise every day you are going to increase stamina in your body and this is going to enhance immune response and decrease risk of chronic disease like hypertension diabetes or heart conditions another thing that you are going to get with new habits is vitality keeping hydrated eating healthy food eating food rich in antioxidants ensuring enough sleep it's going to show in your skin in your better posture you're gonna get efficient metabolism i mean it's going to 
show a lot of change in your body and it's going to be in a positive way so you want to feel like healthier you want to feel more, more energy you want to feel more vitalized any small change that you do it's going to be positive and going to do a lot in your body and life another benefit that you're gonna get with new habits is for example get sharper cognitive abilities if for example you get a little time to read a book do puzzles or learning new skills it's going to help you enhance memory and cognitive functions and it's going to reduce the risk of degenerative disease like alzheimer disease and i told you before some kind of food that it helps us to avoid Alzheimer as a cinnamon. Cinnamon is a pretty good thing that we should use in our food to avoid Alzheimer. When we do physical activities, it's going to help us manage better stress. Over time, it's going to help us manage better emotional situations. If we get new habits, we're going to get emotional balance, right? So we're going to have good sleep, we are going to feel more relaxed. We are going to have no too much stress in our life. We are going to take positive bad situations and how to manage better these situations. It is also to reduce the risk of mental issues as a depression and anxiety. Getting new healthy habits, it's going to improve of relationships. Being mentally and physically healthy is going to help us build healthy relationships in, even with friends or with family if we are balanced emotional we are going to be empathetic passion and understanding we're gonna have more energy to participate in social events or engagements with our friends we're going to find more energy to socialize with other people social gathering and group activities that are going to enrich our social circle and of course, if we get healthy habits, it's going to extend our life span. I'm going to give you some healthy habits that you should change to start changing your life. Um, I know that for change or get new healthy habits, it's, it can look intimidated. But if we take a slowly, the process you can take one healthy habit and then uh, suddenly uh, start taking more it's gonna to be easier instead to make different change drastically in once you can start slowly step by step and it's going to be easy to you incorporate new habits in your life first healthy habit get some exercise this is pretty important and it's going to help you in so many ways it's it's going to help you with first avoid obesity with avoid chronic disease also with energy you want to feel energized you want to feel happier you want to feel more active because when you do exercises, it's going to drop dopamine in your body and it's going to make you feel happier. Most of us struggle with keep consistency with that daily exercise. Yeah, because family, school, chores, a lot of things that you had to do in your daily life. Motivate yourself to, to do exercise when you are tired and stressed. It could be hard, it sounds hard, it can look hard but the point is that you have to do the first step to decide to do exercise then everything is going to be easier once you start the first the first step that you have to do is decide and also decide what days you're going to be how long it's going to be what kind of exercise you want to do i think that if you want incorporate exercise in your life first of all you had to choose something that you really enjoy for example if you like ride bikes if you like dance if you like jogging if you like do cardio exercises if you like lift weight if you like 
so many things uh swimming choose something that really it's it's exciting for you and then after you choose that choose a schedule when you can to do the activity for example if you work all day and you can go and do the activity at night then choose one hour 20 minutes 10 minutes at night to do the activity that you are choosing it can be daily or it can be three days a week but try to do at least twice a week exercise now i can tell you that for example it's some chores that we do at home like cleaning sweeping mopping all those chores it helps us to be physically active so it's going to help us also to improve our health because we are going to move our body we are doing some kind of uh, activity with our body so it's going to help us so don't be worried too much you cannot go to the gym because you also can exercise at home you can choose two three days and do a little routine there are so many ways to you uh get some exercise for work your body you can go, go to youtube you can find and you do a lot of channels where they have some kind of exercises to uh to work your body and for example i have my other channel that is a fitness channel you can find the routines if you want to work out at home but also you can take some time to walk outside ride by swimming anything that you like to to do you have to choose something that you like because if not it's going to be hard probably if you choose something that you like and you saw all the change that this gives you in your life then probably you can change this for something else like for example you want to incorporate more swimming and go to the gym or swimming and jogging yeah you can incorporate more activities for example i like go to the gym but also i like go to ride bikes so i try to go unless one time uh for a week to go to ride bikes and it's a good exercise for my legs it's a good cardio exercise so kind of like that you have to incorporate a schedule in this new habit so you can you can create a consistency to do this new habit being physically active is going to improve your health in so many ways it's going to help you manage your weight it's going to reduce the risk of disease it's going to help you get strengthened bones and muscles and also improve your ability to do everyday activities like i was told you you're gonna feel more energized you're gonna feel more active it's going to help you in so many ways exercise also can boost energy and mood so a, a good way to start it can be walk just do a little walking at night or at morning go for a walk it's going to help you it's going to help you relieve stress have your mind more clear think positive be more relaxed for example in days that you cannot go to the gym or you cannot go to do that exercise that you are doing uh, you can do some like easy exercise at home uh, it could be meditation it could be stretching or it could be a little uh cardio routine or a little exercise for your your body so you can no miss the activity that day another habit that you should incorporate in your life is a balanced diet and that is so important too. You don't have to be like everything just fast and in one day. You had to do this step by step, slowly. It's a process. This is going to impact your body directly and it's going to make you feel more energized. A balanced diet is going to help you get your enough nutrients as vitamins minerals protein carbs that you need in your daily 
for do any activity. Adding plain based food on your diet is a great way to start. So you can start with vegetables, fruit, in your breakfast, in your lunch and dinner, and it's going to give you more energy. You are going to get antioxidants. You can get also like protein for plant sources as beans, uh, lentils, also uh, tofu. We can also get a uh, protein for nuts as almonds, um, peanuts. All this uh, food uh, contain a higher value of protein and it's going to help you to do real muscle in your body too. It's going to help you with manage the cholesterol in your body. Also blood pressure levels, also going to reduce the risk of chronic conditions. And it's also going to provide you essential nutrients. So you have focus on colorful fruits, lean protein, whole grains, and healthy fats. And moderate, try to avoid or reduce processed food, sugar, alcohol, and excessive caffeine. Practicing mindful eating and prioritizing healthy meal preparation can positively affect overall well-being. Number three, get enough sleep. And this is so important for everything. Quality sleep is so important as diet and exercise. Sleep is the way of our body make some process to repair mechanisms in our body, make recovery of our skin, recovery of our organs, recovery every part of our body. So it's important that we had the process that eight hours of sleep. So it's going to help us improve our health. It's going to re rejuvenate our mind. It's going to help us repair cells and also revitalize the body's system. And of course, we are going to feel happier when we have enough sleep. Mentally, we are better prepared for the day, right? Because when we have a good sleep, we feel, we feel happier. And for you to fall asleep easy, you have to create an environment around you an environment that help you fall asleep if you want you you run dark or you want to hear certain music or even if you like read a book when you read a book sometimes you feel tired and you can't easily fall asleep or if you want a dark and quiet environment so you can fall asleep easy also it's kind of good when we incorporate like a sleeping schedule like we go to bed around certain time for example i like go to bed around 9 p.m or 10. after 10 i think that it's too late and i don't gonna give time to my body to to leave the process that regenerate all the cells and all the organs that need the, all the process that had to live during our sleep because we are asleep we are not conscious that we are asleep but our body is, keeps working and our body keeps doing some process to make us next day feel energized feel optimized we have a new day and we can do anything that it's coming other new habit stay hydrated this is pretty important and also it's going to help you with your diet and your balance in your health it's really important for your digestion water is essential for the proper functioning of our body cells tissue organs everything in our body needs water so it's pretty important that we consume enough water drinking enough water is going to help us maintain our body temperature it's digestion lubricates joints and also flush out 
harmful toxins. So it's very important during water. So we are going to have our body clean for all those toxins that we get from our food and it's going to put it out. There's a way to clean also our body. It's for example, when we eat a lot of condiments and salt and we are thirsty, it's, it's a way that the body tell you we need water to clean all those toxins to put it out from our body. One way that you can assure that you drink water is, for example, keep a bottle of water or a glass of of water next to your night table when you're gonna go to bed you're gonna drink water in the middle of the night i don't know if you wake up in the middle of the night but i wake up and i always wake up thirsty so i have water to drink while i sleep and that is so good for your body for your skin for your organs another way that you can assure is for example if you go to work or if you go to college or if you are working wherever you are keep a bottle of water with you or a little something that you have water that you have enough water to keep drinking because we usually sometimes we don't drink water because we don't have the water next to us so to avoid that you always keep your bottle of water with you wherever you're gonna go you're gonna have water to drink so it's important that you unless drink eight cups of water daily if you are active or you live in a hot weather now if you don't like plain water you can put some fruit in the water like for example sometimes i do a strawberry water and i cut some strawberries and put it in my water and put it in the refrigerator for a few hours and then drink and it's going to take the flavor of the strawberry also you can do it with lime you can do it with orange you can do it with pineapple you can do pretty much with all the fruits i like with strawberries because it has antioxidants so it's going to help you blueberries also also have antioxidants so kind of like all these uh, fruits that have antioxidants are pretty good that you put in your water it's going to have a flavor and also it's going to give you antioxidants when you are drinking the water so that is a good way to drink water if you don't like plant water another habit that you should incorporate in your life is adult world mindset and it is all about it keep your brain active engage with new activities it's going to help you cognitively but also it's going to keep you alive because if you don't have new things to learn your cognition is going to decline so you can probably choose 30 minutes of read something that you like it, it could be anything it could be some something new uh, that you want to learn or you a study or a book that you would like to read is going to help with your brain health. Read can have long-term benefits. Also, read stimulates our mind, enhance cognitive functions, and reduce stress levels. Other example of have a new mindset, engaging with new hobbies, like for example, painting, playing a musical instrument, gardening. It's going to help you like change the environment. You're gonna mentally gonna be busy, but also you are learning new things. So you are working your brain. And the last one is spend more time in nature. And this is so helpful in so many ways. Uh, like as uh, you know and you have seen my channels i spend a lot of time in nature i love share time with animals nature has a remarkable ability to nurture our minds and bodies spending time outdoor and connecting with nature can improve cognitive functions reduce stress and boost overall mental health i think that it's so great that you take unless one 
time in your day to go outside and you just enjoy the sunset or enjoy the sunrise or you just enjoy the sky or you just enjoy the animals that are around you or the trees this is going to really energize your body energize your mind you are going to feel relief of stress you are going to feel happier you are going to feel more alive one way for example to connect with nature it will be when you go ride by so you ride by in in a in natural park so you have trees around it's really really cool it's really, it's really nice another way is when you go to work also you go walk for uh, around the park it's going to help you to to spend time outside on the nature for example, hiking is another way, right by walking, jogging, gardening, when you go outside, spend some time in your yard. It's going to help you mentally, physically, in all ways. For example, if you like to do photography or do videos about landscapes or animals or trees, that is something also that it helps you to be in nature. I hope that you keep in mind all these healthy habits and try to inc incorporate in your life gradually. Yeah, right. You don't have to do everything the same day. You can start getting enough sleep, then you change your diet and and slowly incorporate all these new habits in your life, in your daily life. And it's going to help you to be happier. It's going to help you to relieve the stress. It's going to help you to be more focused in your activities also to avoid like chronic disease it's so important and i probably i have already a video about diet that you can check this i'm going to see if i put it here in 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 the video so you can see this video too and it's going to help you to get some new habits in your diet to start with your new habits and today's video i have some clothes for amazon there we go but first i want to tell you guys thank you all of you that has subscribed to my fitness channel and also my blog also all of you have joined my instagram facebook and tiktok all the platforms you can find them in the link in my bio and also guys thank you for all of you that have checked out my amazon store from you can find also in my link or also in the description below of my videos and let's go see those dresses these dresses i get them in amazon some of the dresses you can find it in the link but if not you can find also something similar i post in there all the dresses that i have purchased on amazon and there we go so today i have this class for amazon uh let me see i'm gonna open this yes all right so i like the color it's beige i like the color and the fabric is kind of like we call this bordado or bordado no like tejido it calls tejido in spanish in english oh i don't know how you call that Tejido. Tisu? Tisu? Fabric. Mm, uh, I don't know. Anyway, look. It looks really pretty. I like the color and I like the design too. It has long sleeves and also really big you um neck and it's see-through in the back and also in the uh sleeve the color i really love the color i think that the color it gets pretty good in my skin i guess it's cotton the fabric i think it's cotton and it's kind of the way that people 
do this with the hands in Colombia. It calls tejido. We had a skirt here and it's a long a skirt, super long. Uh, the fabric is cotton, so it looks like it's solid until a certain point and then it's go see-through. Like uh, you can see, right? It's really nice. I really love it. If uh, have a little small waist, really long skier, and this is the this is the uh, blouse. So there we go. So we're gonna see how it looks. I really love the color. I really really love the color. Kind of like this color is my favorite, and this will be the longest skier I i have because other skirts are really short or kind of like a little bit but this is really long let's go keep going so the next one all right all right this is red and oh my gosh it looks like a for them salsa Look, it's a little flecked. I don't know if you call these flecked. All right, it's red. And let me see how it is. It is a long, it is long dress too. Hold on. Oh, wow. So this is a long dress too. It looks, it looks like a, you are going to a dance or a party or something like that. It's also see-through, like, it's see-through. In the top is like this. And it's kind of open in the belly, the tummy belly. And this is the back. I mean, it's kind of interesting. You have also uh, kind of like panty inside look it's really see-through so we are going to see how it looks i'll have a little um zip in the side to tie in the waist right the fabric is kind of uh cotton too it's cotton we have this in front so we are going to see how it looks i kind of are really curious it looks like a for them salsa salsa Next dress. Ay. Ah, yes. All right, this is green, and the material, the fabric looks like it's cotton too. It's also long. Oh my god, all the dresses are long. And I guess this is the in front. In kind of like I need to see this uh on. The dress is open. I mean. I don't know if you can see this. This is uh, the waist, and in one side is all open onto the bottom. So it's open in the leg, and in the top it comes like this. And I don't know if you have cruised this. I mean, we did see that anyway. Look at the color. I love the color. I really love this. I love. I have a lot of green dresses so i really like this dress a lot so we are going to see those dresses and let's go all right so this is the first dress and i really love the color all right look at that i really love also the design is really really pretty and i really love the color a lot look at how it comes in the top it comes curls and open in your tummy belly and in the back it's also for tying in the top and it's open shoulders and let me show you in the bottom all right in the bottom it's kind of it's really sexy 
it's open in the side of your leg so you can show your leg in the side it's also in the back it's all closed uh, i have a little let me see if it's open here no it's all closed in the back but it have open uh, shoulders right it's really long but if you use on high heels they get pretty good the dress now look at that i really love the dress this is come for go to the beach but also to go to a dinner or go to a party or go to a romantic date and look at the belly you show you tummy belly there it's kind of wrinkled to the side because it's come here all tight look at the way that it comes here and it's curled in the middle here also in the top the material it's cut on and it gets pretty good in your uh in your butt here i really like it. The, the the fabric is really thin it's not too it's not too like hot but it covers pretty good it's not it's not like how you say like see-through or something like that it's really really good you cannot see anything you can see there huh all right there is perfect i really love the color and also the design for this dress for one side it's all closed and the other side it's open all right so let me know in the comments guys if you like this dress i really love the way that it comes in the top you can do this in different ways i do this way but you can also try in the back and i really love the color it's just i love it and look at that how it looks just right in the tummy belly i mean this is right kind of really tropical wild dress <laughs> oh my gosh i really love it i think it's my favorite dress until that all my dresses this is really 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 pretty i really love it a lot in the back is for tie here in the top it's for tie there and it's open shoulders let me know guys in the comments what is your favorite dress i love this uh, green one and there we go we're going to see the next one all right so this is the next dress and um, are you ready <laughs> are you ready all right i feel like I've, i am the real superstar all right it's see-through in the bottom it's Zetra, yes. And it has like a little panty with the with a dress. Like this is a little panty with the dress. Look, I think that it's so different and so cool. I mean, this dress in Colombia definitely will be for go to dance salsa. It's all see-through in the bottom. You saw that? it's open in the sides and also it's open in the back uh in the top it is open shoulders right it's a really big u in the top it comes with this little thing i think that this is kind of small for me but uh, it is kind of little thin in the middle that tie the dress in front in the back it's all open back so i like because it's open back and i think that is really sexy you have to be careful to walk with the high heels because you can step in those little flakes in the bottom but there we go we had the dress here and salsa let me know in the comments what is your favorite dress and this is something that comes with dress this little thing then it comes with the dress but you can see that it's all see-through i cannot go to a dinner with this dress but definitely i will go to dance zaza
yeah yeah i would definitely go to dance salsa the fabric is cotton it's all see-through in the bottom in the top it's not see-through you can see that it's really solid color opening the back and see through in the butt uh, but also you have some panty inside and opening the sides here you can see that it's open all in your uh, waist and let's go see the next dress all right so this is the last dress and i really love the color look at that it's not a dress it's a here with the blouse but well i call dress uh, look at in the bag it's really long too long a sleeve and it's see-through the, the sleeve is see-through in the top this is not see-through at all it's not see-through but it's have a really big u in the top and he has these little things here and it's kind of short in the top i really not sure if i can put my arms up <laughs> but i probably use this probably for um go to the beach or if i want to go outside probably i will use this with a little top inside kind of the same color anyway i really love the color all right so there we are looking the whole dress i love the color and the design the skirt is long but it's not too long i use in some high heels and they look perfect and it's kind of tight in your waist and go with a little sun covered inside uh until hitting b and then it comes see through it's all see through until the bottom and look at that it's really really pretty i really love this outfit in the ways this is kind of uh, thick this is thick and it's uh stretch too there we go it, you saw that it's coming with a little cover here but then it's go see-through in the bottom all right so that is nice because it's not see-through in the top all right look at that there and i using with some uh black high heels i don't know if i should use my beige all right i shave my high heels i think that my beige high heels look better so there we go <laughs> all right now yes it looks much better let me know in the comments what is your favorite so this uh outfit is see-through in the lips and also in the bottom of the dress of the, of the skirt but it is not see-through in here in the bottom here where you have your you you bat and it's not see-through also in front it's really it, it covers pretty good right i like the color a lot in the back it's really like close totally close but of course it's a skirt and a, and a blouse so it's open here in the waist and all right let me know in the comments what is your favorite oops there we go thank you for watching the video guys i hope that you let me know in the comments where is your favorite dress my favorite dress it's i really love the beige and it's not that it's like a uh skirt with uh the blouse and i think that it is my favorite i really love it i love also the green dress i mean i love all the dresses but i think the beige is kind of different and i really like and i hope guys that you check my Esther from where you can find my my favorite items from amazon and also some dresses sport clothes and elements for workout at home and until the next video bye bye